Meetings get a bad rap. I am constantly hearing about how there's too many meetings. Meetings are such a waste of time. What a <sighs> snooze fest. Okay, I get it. Bad meetings suck. But that doesn't mean we should eliminate meetings. There are a lot of reasons to meet. And so the goal is to understand when is it the right time to meet, and then we can work on making those meetings a really good use of time and energy. So let's think about four different reasons why meeting makes a lot of sense. So one is because you're trying to co-create something. You are collaborating. You are working on something where no one person can have the full picture or can bring the diversity of thought and perspective that's going to make something effective. And sure, there's lots of asynchronous collaboration you can do. You can have a Google Doc and have people making comments, and I love that. But at some point, that linear kind of one person um, contributes, then another, then another, at some point that doesn't have the kind of dynamic interplay that great collaboration often requires. So use the asynchronous forms of collaboration. And then when you're in a situation where mm, it's maybe going to be a little bit more you know, contentious, bring it into a meeting when it's really complex. And so you need to kind of probably even have a whiteboard and a picture and, and talk through all of the pieces and how they affect better in a meeting. Um, novelty. We know that novelty benefits from some of the increase in body language and gesture and, and understanding and context we get when we meet. So when you're collaborating on something really new and novel, um, and when you need that kind of riffing and having one person uh, share an idea that creates a new idea in another person. And as those two are going, a third person has that light bulb over their head. So if you need to collaborate, sure, get lots of the collaboration done offline in ways that you can work one at a time when it works for you that's great. But every once in a while, having a meeting so that you can collaborate makes a ton of sense. Second scenario, you're a people manager. Uh, somebody asked me a question just yesterday. They said, I'm worried that my one-on-ones, I'm, I'm having weekly one-on-ones with my folks, and I'm worried they're a waste of time. What do you think? Should I cancel my one-on-one -on -one meetings? And I was quick to say, ah, no, don't cancel your one-on-one -on -one meetings but think about how you use them. A great reason to meet is to have time to just check in with your report. So, you know, giving them a chance to kind of let you know, how are they experiencing things? What are they paying attention to? What are they worried about? What do you need to pay attention to? What do you need to worry about? Having that chance with a little bit more of the pitch and tone in their voice, um, the body language, uh, all of those sorts of things, gesture, maybe if you are face-to-face, -face, you, you add even more than that. That rich communication that you get in a meeting with a direct report is different than what you get when they send you an email about, here's what I'm doing or I need your help. Now, when this person asked me about, should I cancel my one-on-ones, I said, but you should watch because if your one-on-one -on -one meetings have just become a place to check off boxes and make sure the person is delivering what they said or to you know interact on who's doing this and can you check that that is not a good use of a meeting <laughs> that's a place where some kind of asynchronous communication makes a lot more sense so either you have a slack channel where you're keeping track of things or there's a project log in, in I don't know, Emma's project or some other tool. So think about why you want to use manager direct report meetings and use it for more the interpersonal, the check-in, the chance to kind of understand where one another is at, talk through some difficult things, share feedback. All of that is a great use of a meeting that you just can't get from sending each other emails. Okay, third, you are in a matrix organization. And in a matrix organization, what happens is we often have, we have to accomplish things together. We have shared goals, but we have slightly different priorities. Um, we are paying attention to different things. We have different expertise. We don't even have the same jargon often. So when you are working in a matrix organization, again, you can push things as far as possible asynchronously, 
but every once in a while coming together in a meeting so there's the chance to really kind of look each other in the eye um, stop and define terms and and clarify places where you might be misaligned and even to hear and sense that there's misalignment that you might not pick up if you're just using written communication. So if you're in a matrix organization, in, in some ways, those meetings across departments can be even more important than meetings with people with whom you have high trust and you share language. You can get a lot of that stuff done in a Slack or an MS Teams conversation. But when it's a matrix, it's really easy to misinterpret written communication. So you want to switch to meetings more often in that situation. And finally, you want to have a strong team. The base of any trusting relationship is just connection and just knowledge about one another. And that often comes from spending downtime together. It's the time on the way into and out of the meetings, on the lunch break. Those are the opportunities where you're learning things about people, finding common ground, understanding where you're different and how diverse perspectives can really liven up your work and your conversations. Um, and so meeting to have a forum to build trust, get to know, know each other as humans. Well, that's really valuable as well. Maybe that some of your meetings need to be just content free when it comes to work. The chance to blue sky about what you're paying attention to, what's coming up, something you're working on that you're excited about, and, and where you have a defined agenda, maybe more of that can be done offline in an asynchronous form. But when we're together, we can actually chit chat and get excited about things and get to know each other as people. That kind of connection is a really good reason to have a meeting. So meetings, I know we have too many of them. We really need to pair them back. We need to think about all the things that we can move into asynchronous forms, uh, whether that be, you know, sending each other. Just this morning, I sent somebody a quick video that I shot and, and sent to her with an answer to a question. We can use tools like that, um, working on docs and commenting together, lots of that. But sometimes that's not enough and we need to pull together into a meeting. So when we need to collaborate on something that's urgent or novel or complex, when we're managing, uh, when we're managing people and we need to create that connection and know how they're feeling and where they're at and create a safe space for feedback, when we're working across boundaries in a matrix, or when we just need to build a strong team, all of those things are worth having a meeting. Now, if you're going to meet, how do you make that meeting effective? Check this out.